You see it all the time. People run into the field at baseball games. But this time, the police pulled out a taser to stop a 17-year-old. Really? A taser? Is that necessary? Runaway on the runway. They caught the man that tried to set off a car bomb in the middle of Times Square. He was on the no-fly list. But somehow, he was just seconds away from escaping the country. What do you hear how it all went down? Johnny Depp avoids a criminal simply because he's Johnny Depp. If you think you're Captain Jack, you don't know Jack. All the stories people are talking about and everything you need to know right now on The Filter. Hello again off the top, our Filter forefront, top four of the day, including how'd you like to be tasered in front of 50,000 people? But we'll begin with this. As night falls, it's time to update the who's jumping on the boycott Arizona bandwagon. Our mayor, who was under fire for the way he is running his own city, gave his blessing over the weekend. Our city council, who has created a $485 million deficit, is considering it. Janice Hahn, who originally suggested the city council boycott, now says the Dodgers should pull their new spring training facility out of Arizona until that state changes the law. Now the West Hollywood City Council has voted to boycott Arizona. City of Carson is voting on it tonight. City of Santa Ana has condemned the law. City of San Diego wants Arizona to repeal the law. For her part, the governor of Arizona says she'll stand pat. She says the bill is not a backdoor entry to racial profiling and bigotry. It's an attempt to protect your citizens and state. Arizona did what the federal government has not done. Come up with a plan. Our contributors tonight, Ron Kay from RonKLA.com and actress and social activist Deborah Wilson. Our pictures are furnished by Skype. Deb, I'm going to start with you. Is boycotting Arizona the right thing to do, or has it become the popular and politically correct thing to do? Actually, Fred, it's a combination of the two. I think, especially when it comes to Los Angeles, we love to jump on the bandwagon of anything that gets us known, anything that gives us a voice, and anything that brings us attention. But at the same time, it's not the law that's the issue here, as far as I'm concerned. And if people really looked at the books very carefully, they'll see that what has been... What has been done in Arizona actually falls under federal guidelines. There is nothing illegal about what they did. Is There is nothing that breaks law for what they did. There is nothing at all. It corresponds to federal law. Well, However, if it, if... the real key, let me finish. However, the real key is how it's being implemented. There have been cases of abuse already uh, among the left in the Latino community of Arizona. Where well, people is that, is, for wait, no wait, 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 wait. Is that documented or is that hearsay? In other words, no, if, it is documented. if someone it is, is arrested, are they documented. claiming that that was abuse already? Yes, there are people who are also claiming, and because and, here's the thing, police shouldn't have to be involved in this, but unfortunately they have no choice and they are involved. So what they're doing is they're abusing the power on occasion and just stopping people for no reason. Now you're supposed to stop somebody with a probable cause. Well, how do you know they don't have a reason? Most times they don't. Let's How do you be know? Real. How do we know? Let's let's, we're not let's there. be real. Most times we're talking about we're talking <clears throat> about people of color, and a lot of times that's the reality. Let's be real. Well, now here. now now From you're Los now Angeles you're generalizing. Arizona, now you're that's generalizing. A lot of the time. Ron, go ahead. Ron, what do you have to say? Can I get a word in edgewise Please do. here? Please. <laughs> uh, it's a, a terrible idea, and it's one thing for people to condemn it. Uh, I don't know what they think they're going to boycott. The golf season and resort season's pretty much over in Scottsdale. So I doubt if they're flying out there to get away from it all and the, as the heat builds up. Uh, I'd like to see all these same people pay the same attention to what's going on in L.A., where where everything is breaking down, where the budget deficits, the DWP rate hikes and everything else are going on. You know, the the... There's a virtual boycott going on of the DWP bills where they're giving people six months or longer to even bother to consider paying them. Uh, it's just out of control. People need to pay attention to things they can do something about. It's a bad law. It will be dealt with, and the repercussions will be real. They're not just condemning it. They're going through a grandstand play that means exactly, nothing. Exactly, exactly. Let me take the last word here. Here's the problem. Whether you like the law or not, wh whether you believe it or you don't believe it, let's put that aside. Here's the bottom line. We've got people sitting on the L.A. City Council, the mayor of Los Angeles. Let me tell you what. Those people have not written the book on how to run the city correctly. They have not done that. And for them now to posture and simply announce, well, we ought to boycott Arizona, I think that's an embarrassment. That's too easy. That's too simple. That's why we are where we're at as a city. Let's move on. Are you aware of the fact that in June you'll have the chance to vote for a new parcel tax to help out the L.A. USD? If approved by two-thirds of the voters, you'll be taxed $100 per parcel of land you own. That would generate $93 million bucks a year to help offset a deficit of $640 million. That would mean 
the district would not have to lay off as many people. Basically, you pay to make sure others don't lose their jobs. It would also be used to reduce class sizes. On top of that, Councilman Paul Krikorian said that the DWP should give the LAUSD a break on rate hikes. How about this? How about everybody get a break on rate hikes? How about a parcel tax that held everybody out? So the LAUSD have to clean up its own mess, Ron? Well, they've failed and failed and failed for years. Uh, I'll tell you this. The parcel tax is absolutely the worst tax to impose. If I own a 50-story building, I pay 100 bucks. If I own a a thousand square foot little bungalow somewhere I pay a hundred bucks. It's totally unfair. It's it's unjust. An apartment building pays a hundred bucks for the whole property. And and what does it go to? We're talking about a school district that's gotten twenty billion dollars from the public in LA to build schools and renovate schools. And they can't even touch the last bond issue that they just got passed for six more, seven more years. I mean they got money pouring out and, and they're putting up digital signs on schools. They don't even know what to do with all the money they've got for buildings. Um, I'm sorry that they've mismanaged their affairs for so long um, with contracts and, and, and poor performance. But they ought to be showing uh, a lot better results to be able to get uh, money out of us. And a parcel tax is simply not the way to go. Deb, what do you think? Should the public bail them out with a parcel tax? Absolutely not. You know what? My, this is not my fiscal irresponsibility. Why am I, as a, as, a, as a taxpayer, having to take responsible for somebody else's and a city's fiscal responsibility with the LA uh, Unified School District? You know what I say? PTAs gather and have bake sales for the rest of the year until 2020. <laughs> bake sale, PTA. Show the mothers what's really going on out there. Come on, moms. Get together. For the next 50 years to make up $640 million. 2020. <laughs> bank sale might cause, 2020, it might cause an LA obesity USD. problem, don't you think, yeah, uh, you Deborah? Do the kids will get fat. Get out then we'll there. Have another Joe, me, and Betty Crocker. All right.